IBM's Watson beat a trio of Harvard Business School contestants in a mock Jeopardy competition Monday. The natural language processing computer had already proved its might during a real Jeopardy competition earlier this year when it beat two Jeopardy champions. Jeopardy is a difficult game for a computer because questions use idioms and wordplay, things that haven't been strong points for artificial intelligence. And I think it's because Jeopardy has this broad domain. You can't, you can't imagine solving the Jeopardy problem by building a big FAQ. Right? There, you know, it's not like you're going to map to one of a thousand questions to an answer Jeopardy. So there's a huge variety both in the topics it talks about as well as in the complexity and richness of the language they're using the clues. So those two aspects get you to think more broadly about how to reason over large volumes of content. But then the other interesting challenge in Jeopardy is the probability aspect. In other words, you don't want to buzz in and get the question wrong. So now you have to compute a probability that your answer is correct. How do you gather the evidence and score it? In other words, how do you do enough analysis to accurately decide if you're 80% you're sure, 70% sure, 50% sure? Because you have to do that to decide whether or not you want to buzz in or potentially how much to bet. All right, Harvard, you have control of the board. Go ahead. We'll take good sportsmanship for six. Six thousand dollars, six hundred dollars. Here we go. Mike Bossy and Alexander Mogilny have won the Lady Bing Trophy for gentlemanly conduct in this sport. Watson. What is ice hockey? Ice hockey, yes. Watson would come up with three responses to a clue and rank its certainty on each of them. If Watson was relatively sure of the top response's accuracy, it would ring in an answer. If Watson was in the lead, the threshold would move up so it wouldn't answer as often. If it was trailing, the threshold would move down so it could try to regain the lead. Harvard was able to take away the lead from Watson for just a short time when it wagered more than $11,000 on a daily double in the category Having a Ball. In the movie Castaway, the non-speaking character Wilson is one of these. Wait. What is a volleyball? What is a volleyball? MIT's Sloan School of Management couldn't find its rhythm, and eventually the competition came down to Final Jeopardy, where Harvard and Watson answered correctly, but the computer wagered enough to win. Some of the next steps for Watson are to adapt its intelligence to applications in finance, healthcare, and technical support. At the Harvard Business School, Nick Barber, IDG News Service.